he uh, maybe complete he all like the things he can do before dealing with them. Was when yeah. producing progeny. Powers pass from one this is a vampire. It's a game where you go around talking to NPCs. Yeah, hold on, give me a minute. Yeah, so okay, so he's he's at the church temple right now waiting for me. Um, so yeah, let's let's deal with what we need to do right here first. Um, I still need to find fucking Journey to the Past somehow. Um, and I also need to fight Dickhead McGee in the base in the basement, Mr. Milady. Let's just deal with that. Um, I'm gonna go up here, and I guess I'm just gonna rest. Fuck it. I mean, I haven't really seen you use the primary all that much to begin with. You 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 seem to be pretty happy with your secondary and then using an ability. Yeah. So it's just like mm, All right. So I have three thousand XP that I can I can level up a power. Maybe. I can level up Blood Cauldron, which is my ultimate, um, which will do six hundred thirty blood damage instead of five hundred, or Shadow Warp, which will do five hundred shadow damage instead of four hundred. Um, Autophagy, I think I'm fine. Yeah, it's just between Blood Cauldron or Shadow Mist. Um, Blood Cauldron, I always just go for. Um, but again, it's Blood versus Shadow. You, I do have to think of like what people are have higher defense against. So oh, Shadow or Blood. Level up your ultimate for sure. Just because it's a like outside of a cooldown, it's a it doesn't use any resource. Yeah, very fair. All right, let's just level up the ultimate. Level twenty four. All right. Even if they're not weak against it, at least it staggers them. Extremely fair, yeah. Um, then Shadow Mist, I can, I can level up Shadow Mist next time. Um, so then, I'll just confirm that. This is my second sleep, guys. Um, so on the third sleep, we gotta go back to Pembroke and check on that water. <laughs> Everyone's healthy in the West End. Good. Glorious. Yay, people are sick in Whitechapel. Fucking glorious. Um, yay, Pembroke Hospital is sanitized. Should be. Yep, sanitized. Oh and... no, my wards are sick. Yep, Time to dogs. pump them full of opium. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. All right, so I gotta. I actually do have. I have a broken out. leg, Doc. You won't even know it's there. You won't even know it. Um, but I have to go to Web Chapel anyway, so I can give Mason the second page of the Braille book. Um, so that'll be something. I'm hey, I got plus three shotgun shells for some for no reason. Okay. I slept and all of a sudden the tooth fairy left three shotgun shells under my pillow. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> just, like, that should be even scarier because that means there's like some fucking like vampire that's just creeping in, not messing with you, just like here's some shotgun shells. Here's some shotgun shells, Johnny boy. <laughs> oh. Kill the dock people. How authoritarian of you. I know, right? I actually have to go to White Chapel because apparently <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, I apparently have the scarf that belongs to either Christina or Clayton. I'm pretty sure it's Christina. Hey, sexy. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Miss Reed? I did not change my mind, but um, first of Do all, are you, you are you alright? It depends on the price of your medicine. Here. I thought he said so shock glue. You would think I, know, right? I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. It's all good. Uh, is this your scarf? Could this be the scarf you lost, Miss Popper? It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Really? I lost a hint because of that. Interesting. That's fine. At least she has her scrap back. Don't really care. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Good evening, Mr. Swanra. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Hi. Please come in. Please, thank you. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Um, I have a braille page what for you. What can I do for you, Doctor? Uh, braille page. I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's... Dude, Stone. this is really? a Nosferatu looking I've heard of them. I know, he's blind. Very capable scientists. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but... It's as promising as it is intriguing. Hmm. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Alright, so let us deal with Fuckhead McGee here. Because Fuckhead McGee's gonna be annoying. Alright. 
McGee. Wait, what? Fuckhead McGee. Fuckhead McGee. <laughs> Someone read a song called Fuckhead McGee just to see what happens. Let's do, let's do this shit. Do the thing. I love these pillars, I swear to god! I can literally kite this fucker! Alright. I'm not even like running, it's just like walking, walking, walking. He's like dun 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 dun. Fuck. Alright. Ashley, here, have a heart attack. You look like you could use some cholesterol problems. <laughs> no one can hide from Asgard. Bite. Very carefully! Like, very carefully! <laughs> so, yeah, you bite them very, very carefully. <laughs> it just makes me think of a gecko latching onto a person's arm. <laughs> Give me a blood! Okay, this is an easier fight than it was last time I fought this fucker! Well... Fuck! Move! Yeah, I need to grab the glove off of him. Okay, guys, I apologize if I'm really quiet. Just wanna make sure I get this guy. Really? Show me your power, you Come on. I gotta take this battle really slow and I hate it. I hate slow battles! you dude
Have a heart attack. Oh, fuck you. Gotcha, fucker. Fucker! Fuck you! I got you! I got you! Fuck you! Ha <laughs> ha! So that happened. All right. Mm -hmm. The violence of Vulcans. Reading! Please. Never let the size of a Vulcan fool you. These massive bastards can be as quick as any leech, and it can be put down the same way by puncturing and pinning their rotten carcass to the ground before beheading them. Remember, it's all about preparation and exploiting your target's weaknesses. The problem, of course, is that Vulcans have no weaknesses. They are strong, fast, sensible, and deadly. They are killing machines with one simple goal, to put their huge claws around your neck. So if any of you lads are unlucky enough to ever face a Vulcan, just remember this. Dodge and make it mad. Hurt it, taunt it, and make it lose its temper. Vulcan's brain lose it when irritated enough. They stop thinking and start blindly attacking. Ah, uh, that's a grammar area right there! Grammar everywhere! <laughs> this is your only chance to win. By gaining tactical advantage against a stupid beast. Use it! From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldridge, pre-win leader. And to Weston. Yeah, that's right. Convulse and die, you piece of shit! <laughs> If I could teabag you, I would! Anyways, continuing on. <laughs> Alright, opening this. Um, that's locked. There's nowhere an area that I need to go. That's an area I can't get in. That's a door. Just checking this one first. Nothing here. Just kidding. Uh, congrats for reading Death of McFuckhead McGee. I know, right? That's what was like something you might put in your games, right? Um... Maybe. Depends on the type of game. Like if I had if I had the money for a triple A game, dude, the like the fucking ten year war would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, so there's no vampires here, right? Okay, so I'm making sure. I'm just like afraid of like semi empty places. <laughs> I'm just so afraid like something's gonna hop out. Is there anything here? Is there nothing here? This is just, like, scenic? That's garbage! You don't put scenic shit in here! In a video game? What the fuck's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get it this way. Anything here? More scenic shit. <laughs> Gotta love that aesthetic! <laughs> Pee on his grave like Freddy. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Ooh, another puzzle, guys! We have puzzles, but first I want to check what's up here first, because I see a thing that I can teleport to. Whee. Also, I'm out of blood. Gonna need that very, very soon. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Where is this leading? <laughs> That's a dead body. He Hello. Soiled letter. Huh. Okay. My name is Robert T uh, Tesdale. To whoever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. Hello? I don't know, uh, 69 Law, thanks so much for following. You're awesome. But. <clears throat> My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighborhood. Not the one where she works as a waitress, but the other one, the dancing trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There are many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I am convinced that my Louise has been abducted and is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help, for they already have more important things to do. So, I have decided to look for Louise by myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl who does not deserve to die like this. She is of medium size with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek. Please look for her and finish this work for me. God bless you. Louise is what did he just like drop dead? Yeah, he's like dead. Like, holy shit. Oh. 
that's depressing. It's like, that's you... depressing. So wait, did he go down there to look for her, got beat up by the one dude, and just died? Pretty much. That's what I'm assuming. How do you fuck up that badly? <laughs> I just, I don't know. All the kids are winning the fight, here's your reward. Link in the TV's and music. Vicky has required decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get going here. Alright. Alright. Puzzle time! Let's figure out this puzzle. Alright, also door. I cannot enter. Okay. So there's a bunch of slots here. There's a that's there's no buttons, there's three cogs. One, two, three. Um, let's look around this area first. Common trigger part. Let's just see what's going on. Oh my god, my nose! Why is my nose bothering me? I took allergy medicine that makes me almost wanna that's die. Lit. Um, let's see. Is there no way up? No, there's no way up. So I literally have to fuck with these things first. Alright, um, which one? I'm assuming this one. So let's, let's go to this one. Oh! That raises the water level. Alright, now what about this one? No, that lowers the water level. Okay, well, now what, what does this one do? It raises the water level to a ridiculous height. Alright, now what does this one do then? I'm like trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's locked, all right. Let's see. Is there a way up there? Can I teleport up there? Hello? Can I teleport? No. No. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Um. Huh. And then maybe this one. Oh. I did it. <laughs> Why do you yell so loud? There's a warning in the stream that just says beware headphone users. So <laughs> my voice is very, very loud. I know where dead second letter is. I, I know too. I, I have to unlock the area first. Did you turn in the right way? Yeah, like I did it on accident. <laughs> it was literally I was like, I'm just gonna pull this one and this one and this one and this one. Whoops, I did it! <laughs> Okay. What? Oh god! Hi! They're all level 30s! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are all level 30s. What is going on? What the fuck? Move! 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 Can it move, please? These are all level 30s! What the hell? Like these are all level 30s, what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit! Ha! 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 What the? What the fuck was that? Fucking level 30 bullshit! Like, drop like four level 30s on me, I'm like, what the hell? Oh my god. You just beat it level 32. I guess, but I'm just like, what the fuck? Lock the door. Where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> Literally, Nani the fuck? Oh! Oh, I understand now. I, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I understand the thing now. Drain this thing. Thank you. <laughs> I, I got it. I uh, that's not low enough. God damn it. It's outside. I know, but I have to unlock the area first. I can't unlock it right now. Down. And down more. There we go. All right. Now I can walk across here. Somewhat fine. Whoop. Anything here? Okay. Over here. All right. Let's see here. Going up here. I'm just like, where? This leads me nowhere. I'm like, oh, it leads me somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I see rats, so that means there's a hideout nearby. 
Louise. Louise. Oh. How? What level are you? Yeah, you heard the lady. She'll never be your wife. Whoa, I totally was not paying attention. Whoa, I'm not paying attention. I need to really start paying attention. Focus. Oh my god! I'm not- Like, I literally just stared at that. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> Allergy meds. Yeah, literally, it's the allergy meds. Like, holy shit. Have you turned the rich command yet? No, I have not. I am- Oh my god, my allergy- Like, holy shit. Did that just happen? Them meds fuck with you, fam. Yeah, Thank fucking you. my- Ugh, meds are just the worst. Yep. Okay, god. Disclaimer for the YouTube crowd. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me actually jack up. Oh, uh, jack up. <laughs> Just run a thing in my throat. There you go. I'm working on it, sweetie. Camera Y, camera Y. Wow, really? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, this one should be easy. This should be easy. Fucking hell, you dickhead. No, like I, I got it. Please stop yelling, Louise. Please stop yelling. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed <sighs> to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? <laughs> Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye <laughs> it's just like, my God. Careful. Until we meet again. Bye, sweetie. I'm just going to take the stuff that's in here. All right, cool. Open the door, get on the floor. Everyone do the dinosaur. The dick is dead. We're good. All right, now that that's over with, <laughs> now we continue on the game like we was meant to. Hmm, what is over here? Oh, <gasps> common axe. I'm not gonna ever use an axe, but fuck it. <laughs> um, anything shiny here? She has a headache. I can't heal her because she's currently missing, and now she's not going to be missing anymore. What is this? Nothing. Hello. Zimmy, thank you so much for following. You're awesome. All right, let's head down. All right, head back up. And this should be the way out. Please do not tell me there are more skull here. Oh, no. oh thank God, this is an exit. <laughs> thank God, this is an exit. 
I was somehow freaked out to even notice anything you do in this game. NPCs. I know, right? NPCs. <laughs> Ugh. NPCs is the worst. <laughs> Alright. Person. Alright. I hear a church. This is another part of the West End. That's Temple Church. Where am I? Oh, I'm here! I can open that fucking door! Wait, where's the door? I can open this fucking door! Here! Open! Unlock! Never have to do that shit again! <laughs> but this is a nice area that's not full of danger. Price's shop. Oh no, my kleptomania is coming out! Just stealing everything! <laughs> you saw nothing! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's locked, all right. <laughs> they might look up the mini coming out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what? What is this? Peeling potatoes? Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Y yes, mother. Potatoes? Don't cut yourself. Said, be careful, child. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mommy has been so clumsy again. No, but that's okay. It, it won't leave for long. Mommy? You're so pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm well. I'm fine. I already saw the doctor last week. Don't be silly. You must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mommy is. All right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, mother. Ladies and gentlemen, does anyone have a problem with me biting another bitch? No. No. Because, um, I'm about to bite someone. What the... Yeah, because, um, you don't abuse your fucking child like that and then call it an accident. That was a very, very obvious attack. Yep. I know someone's coming up the stairs. Hey, I'm going to learn everything about you and then suck your blood dry. How's that feel? <laughs> Good evening. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed. I didn't know Oh fuck, I know before. you? I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not oh, as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Do you need my medical attention? Oh god, she has a fucking shop. Oh, no, I'm fine, Dr. Reed. Perfectly Wait, what? Fine. Yeah, she's a so shop, but so uh, let's see what she sells care. first before we snap her neck. <laughs> May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Yeah, because I don't care if I know her or not. I'm snapping her neck. Don't care. You do not treat someone like that, ever. It's just, ugh. These characters are great. I love this game, guys. This game is, <laughs> this game is great! <laughs> Just gonna buy all of the stuff that I have the money for. Because like, I know, like, with these ingredients, it's really hard to get these ingredients in. But yeah, we're gonna give her that good suck. <laughs> and not the suck that she wants. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Yeah, her blood will probably taste fucking awful. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid. Something sweet little baby? Change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Really? Really? Does 
this bitch not realize what she's doing? It's like, bitch, we saw you. <laughs> she does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Also realize she Maybe named her child after herself. Yeah. It would be nice to That's have creepy. Matt here more often. We would both feel safer. Carolyn, I'm not gonna get into your pants. How often do you hurt Carolyn? Tell me, Carolyn. Do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad luck and being Maybe it's clumsy a then? Of course, Doctor. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Ain't even gonna find nothing else out. Just kill her. Goodbye for now. I cannot. Enter. I can't get inside. I am glad this. I can't get inside. I have to wait until she, until Carolyn comes out. Until Carol comes out. So, uh, uh, women like that piss me off. Women like that ridiculously piss me off. It's just like you bore a child. Have some fucking respect. Even if you even if you somehow ha become a monster enough to not love your child, at least show them fucking proper respect. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting Hi, an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Detective? from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke Scotland doctor Yard. doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. I'm here on my own, sir. I have no official appointment other than my desire to save lives. Then we have the same objective, sir. The difference is, to catch my suspects, I use a magnifying glass and handcuffs instead of a microscope. Interesting. How's your investigation going? What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. Oh, I already found her! Yeah. <laughs> did your job for <laughs> I did your job. It's all good. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. All right, I took care of it. It's all good. Uh, how you, you feeling? Need medical attention, Inspector. I'm fine, thank you, Doctor Reed. Welcome. All right. Um, yeah, why are you investigating at night? Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Okay, hold on. Who's Goffrey McConnell? Okay, who's who's Golfrey McCollum? Golfrey Mc Golfrey Mc Golfrey 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 Golfrey. Who who is Golfrey McConnell? Who is this person? Yeah, who's Joffrey McCollum? Joffrey? No, is that is that the leader of the Prewin? Yeah, Jeffrey McCollum. Is he the leader of the Prewin? Fuck it. Let's let's just Joffrey McCollum. Wait, well, mm, 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 mm. Joffrey, Joffrey, Joffrey. Wait, hold on. Let me double verify my information because I don't want to give him like the wrong information. Um, Garwin of Prewin, Clarence Crossley, Joffrey McCollum, Prewin leader. He's the Prewin leader. I'd like to report his ass so fucking fast. I'd like to report a name, Inspector Jeffrey McCollum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante. Trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Jeffrey, then yeah. I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Um. Yeah. What, what do you really do here? What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Hmm. 
What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Interesting. Do you work alone? Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. Okay. Um. Alright. Um. Okay. Uh, thanks, buddy, for your information. Um, well, actually, do you know about, do you know what Dawson? Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Interesting. All right, thank you! Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Absolutely. You are gonna be on my shit list, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, Carol, are you here now? I no. hope you can stay a little longer. No, you're- no, I'm not staying here with you, bitch. Um, let's see. Um, give him the suck. I'm not gonna give him the suck. Hey. Who are you two? Good evening, sir. Hi. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Oh, Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? <laughs> no, it's just- <laughs> Your name sounds familiar. Persilis? Have we met before? Pericles? I think I would remember. So I suppose Pericles. the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Pericles. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Do you need my medical attention, sir? No. I just need... I just need something that's not this. I just need something that's something that's not. What do you mean something that's not that's this? A, that's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like, what the fuck? What does that mean? What does that even mean? Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. Pericles, explain. What are you doing out here? Pericles, please. Waiting for someone, and why are you waiting? Wait. For this because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Wait. Pericles and Agamemnon. Wait, what is it? Agamemnon? What is his name? His name is Agamemnon! <laughs> Pericles and Agamemnon. Let's think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the hey, those names are so extra. <laughs> Let's think about it. If theater people, you, you are laughing with me. <laughs> what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. <laughs> Wanted something this city can't yep. provide. And what is that? Tell me more about why you want to leave London. Then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life, and now I think it's over. Um, Destroyer, I actually did. I actually did report that guy. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Yeah. Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I mean, I like it! I don't know. I don't know. I was born and raised in London, but I feel like a stranger here recently. You didn't answer my question, sir, but I don't blame you. Perhaps it's better that way. Fair enough. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Hmm. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. So we have a brother's quarrel. This is interesting. Hey, bro! 
Let's talk. Good evening, sir. Hi. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I would appreciate some sunshine right now, but otherwise I'm fine. Thank you. Interesting. Um, who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? Are they waiting for Godot? <laughs> How can I tell? Something that would allow us to oh leave this trap. It's just kind of like, are they like waiting for Godot? Is this like, oh, we're wait, who are we waiting on? Well, I'm not even sure. There's an idea, an event, like, motherfuckers. You're either waiting for someone or you're not waiting for someone. Which one is it? Fucking hell. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Ish, I will, I, ish. I'll say ish, it drives mankind. Not exactly, but fuck it. Um, tell me about your brother. What can you tell me about your brother? <laughs> He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. What? Grief would just kill me. You know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Interesting. Um, why have you not left? May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You what? must have your own ideas. From what I have He just said it was your idea. And I guess we're supposed to wait here. Oh god. Waiting for someone to come. What? <laughs> what can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Dude, which one of you is actually controlling the situation? <laughs> Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. He's right there. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than... He's you. right there. <laughs> I just want to hear, he's right there. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. This bitch. These bitches. I swear to God. I'm so fucking done with these two. Holy shit. And I just met them. Holy God. How could I be done with people I just met? Oh my God. Oh my God.